Happy birthday, Tim. This is your life, and what a life you've had. Growing up in Needleland, Texas, with music in your soul, singing melodies to songs even before you could pronounce the words. But boy, did you love to perform. Give you a mic and you were happy, singing every chance you got. Then in elementary school, you saw Ned and Company, a show choir formed by Twyla Now. You knew this is what you wanted more than anything. You have said that you spent the next decade counting down the days until you were eligible to join. There you met your teacher and mentor, Frau Now. It must have been a shock when being a late bloomer, your voice went from tenor to bass. Yikes, what to do? Well, work on not losing your tenor voice, of course. You weren't we lucky that that's what you decided, because now we are blessed with hearing your incredible five octave range. But back to your life. Not having enough music in your life, at 16 you started totally a cappella. So what did this boy who couldn't get enough music do when it was time to decide on a college major? Did you choose music? No, why pre-dentistry? Of course! What? What? No, you didn't! Did you really? The boy who was born with music in his soul chose dentistry? Well, thank goodness that didn't last. After two years, the call of music was too powerful, and you picked up your southern butt and moved to that hotbed of music, St. Paul, Minnesota, where you helped found the a cappella group with Jupiter. Brr, Minnesota is cold. But during your time with Blue Jupiter, you recorded your first original song, Song for Michelle, on the CD Ear Candy. Then you decided to move on. Maybe somewhere warmer in the south? Driving down the road, don't nope, know you moved to Boston to join the group Ball in the House. Boston's not much warmer than St. Paul. While a member of the group, your writing and arranging skills grew as both the EP Think About It as well as the full-length album Granite Avenue features several of your arrangements and original compositions. After a few years, you finally moved south again back to Nederland, where you split your time between cruise ship performances and substitute teaching. I can just hear those bones thawing. Oh. After getting a call from Joe Bellotta and an impromptu audition in a karaoke bar, Bellotta signed you to a development deal on the spot. Good thing you like to sing in those karaoke bars. So off you went to live in California and write country music and make demos for other artists. During this time, you released an EP called The Way the Story Goes. Then one day, the owner of the production company said, you know, you're pretty good at that. You should just be a country artist. You released your debut album, The Best That I Could Do, and hit the road again. Don't forget that shut up juice you tried. I hope that isn't a painful memory. After guest performing with Home Free during their 2010 tour, you joined Home Free as the full-time bass in 2012. Oh no, back to cold Minnesota after those years of warmth and sunshine? But luckily for us, you did decide to brave the cold again. Together you recorded the album Home Free Live from the Road. Then one fine day, you five guys decided, what the heck? We have an opening in our schedule. Why not try out for the sing-off? Home Free tried it before, but never with this lineup. And oh, by the way, let's do it as a country a cappella group. Why not? Now that you and Austin were in the lineup, you had some genuine country roots. The fact that no such thing ever existed before? Well, what the heck? Who cares about that anyway? Not only did Home Free impress the judges with your amazing voices and harmonies, but that bass voice of yours vibrated Ben's butt. Oh, and neither the judges nor the audiences missed that incredible range. But when you hit that final note in Ring of Fire, you shook not only the theater, but everyone at home watching. We all collectively held our breath for a moment mesmerized. Then we all wanted nothing more than to hear it again and again. Oh my, did YouTube get a workout. 
And that, as they say, was not the end, but only the beginning of a whole new world opening up to you. Yes, Home Free won the sing-off, which was never in doubt by any of your fans, even if you weren't so sure of the outcome. Oh wait, you knew before we did. Now that must have been a hard secret to keep. The album you released just a few months later, Crazy Life, hit number one on the Billboard charts. Home Free sang God Bless America at the opening game for the Twins. You were also invited to sing at the CMA Festival for the first time at the Bud Light stage, followed by singing the national anthem at the LP field. Home Free was inducted into the CMA the day before your birthday. And who could forget that wild day a flight delay led to a racing police escort to make it to Watkins Glen International NASCAR race just four minutes before singing the national anthem and killing it. Home Free released its Christmas album with the song you wrote, Full of Cheer, as the title track. Then you hung out with Dwayne Allen, and he introduced you at the Opry. You went back to the CMA Festival for the second year in a row. The announcement of your collaboration with the Oak Ridge Boys on Elvira has sent fans into a tizzy of joy. But nothing since winning the sing-off has fans as excited as your debut on the Opry stage just days before your birthday. Oh, I almost forgot. You got rid of your earrings and cut your hair a couple of times. I mean, really. How dare you? Without even consulting the fries? <laughs> In between, you've been keeping a grueling schedule, making videos and doing shows. Traveling from Alaska to Canada to Florida and everywhere in between. And the fries thank you for that. Soon you'll leave Europe and the rest of the world won't be far behind. I did notice in the new tour there are a lot more concerts in the southern U.S. Ah, warmth and sunshine. At least some of the time. Is that why the tour is named Don't It Feel Good? Happy birthday, Tim. I hope you enjoyed this light-hearted version of This Is Your Life. <laughs>